The NX1000 series are a whole range of radios and we have two of them here and as you can see there is a non-keypad and a keypad version of this radio. There is also DMR and NXDN versions of the radio as per the chart you can see on the screen now. They also have the capability to work in NXDN or DMR and can be switched between them. They are the replacement for the TKD series, the 240 and the 340, but have a number of additional features and functions which would be very, very useful for this low tier radio. If you're using Kenwood radios, you'll see that the boxes are very much the same as normal Kenwood boxes, and the designations for two radios are E2 and E3. An E2 is the one with the display here, and the E3 is the one without display. So the extra items within the box are the belt clip and its two screws to secure it to the radio. And if you look here, you'll see there's two holes here and you're screwing directly onto the metal chassis of the radio. We also have a cover here, which goes on the side of the radio to cover up the accessory connector when it's not being used. And there is also a very nice little cover which goes on top of the accessory connector with a screw connection here, which allows that to then fully lock the accessory in place. The main difference between the NX1000 series and the TKD series is that the 1000s do not have a charger within the same box. As with most Kenwood radios, you'll find that the antennas are not included and this is specifically so as you can choose the best antenna that's required for the frequency band and the size. So you can see on these we're using the smaller antennas which have a reduced range, but in many cases that's fine, or the standard antennas here. And that's a choice you make when you purchase the radios.